never truly understand various websites. And I mean that in the most honest way possible. But of course, there's one website that I can certainly say that I genuinely have a very big hate boner for. I think it's kind of obvious what this should honestly be for a lot of you on here because I've been on this channel for almost, well, getting close to almost two years now. Think of it, how fast was that? During that course of time, I've managed to gain over 14,000 subscribers, which will soon become 15,000 within probably the end of the month, or well, the end of February, maybe. And I have narrated well over at least, um, how many exactly did I narrate? Over 1,000 something something videos on my channel and counting. I have narrated so many videos on this channel that, um, it, 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 it's enough to make your head spin. Oh, I'm wrong. 1,200 and um, something something videos. I have narrated over 1,000, 1,200 videos. That's a lot of videos. That genuinely is a lot of videos for a person like myself to make in such a short length of time. And, of course, I mean, there's a lot of things within this channel that more along the lines um, is, um, I don't know. Uh, the main reason why it's always been this large is because, shockingly enough, I find a lot of stories that people have made and that I narrate. There's also been many different kind of concepts as well that I've adapted to my channel. Like my ESA videos, which are a rather recent installation my Patrick Star series, my every other aspect and concept of video. Literally everything that I try and do, whether it be creepypasta or not, is literally on this channel. Of course, what does this have to do about um, the Goshia's Lost Episode Wikia? Well, hear me out when I say this. A majority of those stories that I've actually done have actually came from the Goshia's Wikia. Now, I've always I I don't like the Goshia Wikia. I actually flat out hate it in more ways than one. But I am a bit thankful to an extent over the fact of the matter that, you know, it's because of that site that I did wind up getting the uh views that I get. Well, even though they're not a whole lot and they're actually rather shit. Um scratch that, the subscribers I wind up getting and um, literally every other kind of aspect that I've also gotten. Um, but still, I am thankful on that one. But I can certainly say without a shadow of a doubt that I still hate the website. I hate the Goshia's Lost Episode Wikia with a burning passion. Why? Well, let's start off with a couple of uh, reasons why I hate the site. The main one I hate is the fact that anybody who's anybody can make whatever story they want and upload it to that site. No problems, no consequences, nothing. Any story you want to write can be on there. Now, for some of you that might not seem that bad, like in fact some of you would probably say, well what's the problem with that shadow? That actually sounds awesome. I mean, hell, you can sit there and write what you want. There's no restrictions. That's the problem. There aren't any real restrictions. I mean, sure enough, if you read the, the guidelines and things like that, that'll tell you that certain topics and things like that cannot be done. Otherwise, they'll be automatic dele automatically deleted. And, you know, stories should be original. But unfortunately, it doesn't even seem to be the case with that. Because... I don't know what the admins of the Wikia are even remotely trying to do at this point. I don't, I don't even think they care about their own website. I think they just stopped caring. Which is a big problem. Now, the main reason I say that, why I believe that they don't care anymore, is because of the fact of the matter that majority of the stories, if not almost all of them, well, a good majority, are shit. A good portion of these stories that are on this wikia are nothing else more but absolute, unoriginal, 
not creepy, not funny, nothing remote stories. Just something that some little eight-year-old probably wrote up, you know, and thought it was good and then posted it up on there. I can't tell you how much this pisses me off, especially when I see a decent kind of title that I think would actually be good. I can't tell you how many times I have been extremely disappointed when I found like the title of a story that seems extremely promising only to click on it and then look at it and be absolutely disgusted by the lack of effort being put into these stories. I hate that. I hate it to the fullest extent that hate can honestly give. But there's more to it than that. Many of those stories still are up to this very day. I have seen stories, really shitty ones, that have uh, that went on the site uh, literally last year and have remained on there because their candidate for deletion thing is a joke on that website. It is a huge joke. There is no form or anything that sits there and tries and, I mean, there's nothing that will work. There's nothing good about it. That's what I'm trying to say. There's nothing good about the Wikia itself. And not only is it terrible because of the fact that they allow a lot of, you know, untalented piece of shit writers to sit there and make crap content that make garbage, that make stories with horrible, god-awful grammar, lack of any storytelling, and about as cliche as cliche can honestly be. But, like I said, the fact that they don't do anything about it. Even if it's a candidate for deletion, it won't sit there and get deleted. Which really doesn't shock or surprise me that somebody, you know, was, I, I guess somebody was extremely sick and tired of it, of all the crap that was on the Wikia, and decided to hack the site and get rid of all the crap. I mean, but you know what's really sad, though? That all the stories that were terrible were a very good majority of what that site had to offer. A very big amount that the site had to offer. Because whenever I, whenever I saw the place was completely and utterly uh, wiped clean to an extent, there was like maybe 20 or 30 uh, pages still left on there. 20 and 30 creepypastas that actually were good that remain, remained up. The rest of them were god-awful pieces of trash stories that should have never been written to begin with. But I think, but even with that, the Goshia Lost Episode Wikia provides nothing. I don't know what the original intentions of the site were, and if I had to make some kind of guess, I thought that maybe the Wikia itself was to sit there and be like a haven for people who actually write decent lost episode stories after the Creepypasta Wiki completely banned them entirely. It's a blacklisted subject on that uh, site. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be the case because people have literally walked in there making crappy ripoff stories, stories with no remote kind of sense or logic, people that obviously failed English and grammar class, not just once, not twice, but probably three times in their lives, Mentally um, fucked up individuals who write horrible stories with racist rhetoric, um, garbage storytelling, a lot of swearing, unnecessary swearing, and in the most horrible kind of things I've literally seen on that site. And they have stayed up. And this brings me to another reason why I hate the Wikia. I have had numerous fans of mine, not going to name who, who have written stories on there, and of course I've reviewed them, and I usually call them out on how bad the stories are, and what they need to do and improve. I guess those people don't really seem to even want to take any of that into consideration, because numerous times I have gotten um, various requests from the same author, who I have, repeat I have repeatedly called out, who wrote Austin's Worst Christmas, Austin's Worst Holiday, uh, well, I think, um, uh, Tyrone's Lost Episode, whatever the hell it was called, um, and many others, and I've called them out and say how bad their stories are and that they need to extremely improve, 
Unfortunately, I wound up getting another request from this person for a Sonic um, OVC whatever it was, creepypasta. So I took a look at it, and it's shit. I don't even want to narrate it. I don't want to narrate it. It's bad. It's horrid. It is garbage. The story itself has nothing but constant capital lettering. And there's no punctuation marks. There is literally nothing on that page that redeems itself. Nothing. It's like this person is ignoring what I'm saying. But it's not just him. It's many other people, even in this fandom, who ignore what I have to say and just continue to make shit. It's not excusable, people. I've said that so many goddamn times that I'm about to sit there and I've had moments where I just wanted to freaking quit because it seems to me that the only thing that my channel is honestly going to give is shitty content because that's what people are making. But I'm having to do this because one, I have a quota I have to fill every single day. Number two, um, that's literally the only thing there. And number three, if I even try looking for actually good content, which is a rarity, because most of the people that I have gotten requests for give me stories that are garbage and sh Arrgh! It's agitating as all hell. Because really thinking about it, that's what my channel has pretty much become now. My channel is pretty much a laughing stock at this point. What my channel originally was when I first started it up was to find lost episode creepypastas that were the dime of dozens. That were basically the gems of lost episode creepypastas. The kind of thing that would hopefully redeem the lost episode genre from the amount of shame and hatred and blacklisting that it's gotten. But you know something? I honestly can agree now. I fully think that the lost episode wikia should be blacklisted because people don't know how to write a good story. Nobody know, very few, very few people on the Goshio wikia and even the spin pasta wikia have actually managed to make something good. And you want to know what's sad? It's not difficult to do it. It's not difficult to use your fucking brains to sit there and make a good story. You have to put time and you have to put effort into it. Don't just sit there and automatically write a creepypasta that you just thought of automatically and just put it there. No, you need to give it time. You need to give it effort. You need to fix your mistakes, especially if you're going to freaking post it. Now, I'm not particularly great with spelling. I've never been great with spelling. But I try to improve more on it, especially if I'm writing a story. But people don't seem to do that. They don't care. That's the Goshio Wikia in a nutshell. They don't care anymore. Art people who want to sit there and don't give me the bullshit that, you know, they're first time creepypasta writers. No, no, I will no longer be accepting that excuse. It is a pathetic excuse. It is a cop out excuse. It is a piece of shit excuse. Nobody should use that. And I don't care if I'm acting like a dick. I have every right to act like this because for years now I have narrated shit on this channel and I'm fucking tired of it. It's one thing for like the Creepypasta Fail series, but it seems to me the majority of the videos might as well be Creepypasta Fail episodes. Because the majority of what people make, majority of what people write, majority of what they make with the Lost Episode Show genre are shit. I have tried. Making my, I have made my own stories to hopefully have people take a listen to them, to sit there and get an inspiration for them, to make something new, to make something wholesome, to make something actually scary, yet it doesn't seem to be much of the case. What's really sad is that fanfiction.net has better creepypasta stories than the Goshia Wikia. People actually put effort into their stories. Spin Pasta does a good job with this. Now they're not completely infallible, but at least they actually take opportunities and time to sit there and really work with the stories that they need to work with. At least they actually sit there and give a shit about what their site is. The Goshio Wikia doesn't care. It never has cared and it never will care. It's at this point that I don't even see why they're even there anymore. I mean, I, I guess they just... Uh, like I said, 
There's no amount of love given to that site. And if I was an admin, if I saw a shitty story, I would delete it immediately. I would, ca I would mark it for deletion and then get rid of it. And what's extremely sad too, is that if you go on the suggested category, or if you go on the um, pasta of the month, or even, hell, even the best pasta category, it has been ruined. It has been completely ruined by the community. It has been ruined by individuals who think their stories are so great, when in all due sincerity, they're usually shit, who want to sit there and, you know, put best pasta in there, and then when people go and look at it, they see garbage, and they're like, why is this on here? Why do people, why, why is this considered good? Which honestly brings me to, I think that honestly the last episode Creative Oscar thing is dying now. It's dying again. Nobody is putting effort. Nobody is taking any remote kind of time or effort or anything to make a good story anymore. I get it that lost episode creepy pastas are not exactly the easiest thing to write, but god dang it, if I can do it, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. You have no right, you have no excuse, you have none of those things to sit there and make a garbage story because you can't think of anything. If you can't think of anything, don't write at all. Or better yet, think a little bit. If you get an idea for a certain creepypasta story, then think on it, brainstorm it, think, you know, really consider what you're gonna write. Take creepypasta school. Watch videos about it. Watch videos talking about the worst cliches in certain stories, including lost episode ones. Worst cliches that you've done. Watch one of my videos. Listen to rants. Listen to all of those things. Use those as mentors to keep yourself from making a story that's absolute dog crap. But nobody does that. People have become so lazy, so absolutely lazy, to the point where they don't want to even bother writing anymore. Creative writing at this point is practically dead. It's becoming become a lesser and lesser thing. And it's sad too. It's an extremely sad thing. You know, people sit there and they listen to a bad shitty story and they want to copy it to get views. I mean, or they want to sit there and... Like I said, creative writing is going down the hill. Very few people are actually taking it seriously anymore. And it's not just with creepypastas, it's with work in general. Stories, fan fictions, books, movies, media. Nobody is taking it seriously anymore. It's become a joke. It's become something that people are doing out of desperation nowadays, rather than actual art and creativity. It sucks. And even the smallest things, like creepypastas themselves, I mean, there have been numerous people who have managed to make a career out of making creepypastas. Like, think of Vincent V. Cava, a very famous book author, an author, and things like that. A writer who managed to make his entire career making awesome creepypasta stories and making books out of them and making a lot of money. I'm a writer. I make many of these stories. I'm considering probably putting them into a book one day. But I have to write more. But even with that, though, it goes to show you that it goes to show you that you that a person it goes to show that if you push yourself more, then you can become an amazing writer. I mean, look at those people. Look at the inspiration that they have given. Look at those wonderful creepy pasta writers that have become extremely famous. I mean, look at those people, look at those individuals, and you will honestly see something amazing. You will see people sitting there and making and becoming well known and well loved within the community because of the fact that they're making amazing stories. But what is this? But like I said, if you're going to be lazy, don't write at all. If you really don't want to put any effort into your story, then don't write at all. You are better off not writing that story than writing it and then realizing that you made a crappy mistake. No, I get it. There are first timers. And I know that I said that I won't that I don't normally give excuses and I don't anymore, but I can understand it. It's not easy to write your first creepy pasta. And maybe I am being a bit harsh with that cuz I myself know what that is. 
I know, but I don't excuse it. But the main thing I have an issue with, though, on the first timer kind of deal, is that there are so many ways you could have started that off. I mean, even if it's not perfect, the fact that you put in effort and everything into it is enough to sit there and really show. But many people don't put effort in their creepypastas anymore. People don't put effort in their lost episode stories. This is why I'm making this rant. Nobody wants to put effort into these things any longer because people are just lazy. They don't care anymore. They don't want to care. And that's the biggest problem. I mean, very rarely do I find a good lost episode creepypasta or a story based on a cartoon creepypasta. With a couple of exceptions, I'll admit. But a majority of them that I narrate are oftentimes not good. Many of them are crap. That's why I do my reviews. That's why I do the things that I do on this channel. Unfortunately, it doesn't really seem to me that people care anymore. I know I've said that and I know, and it, it's, it's becoming repetitive. I'm like a freaking broken record right now because it's true. Will the curry pasta community ever get better? Probably not. Especially with, especially with a bunch of idiotic people wanting to sit there and, you know, make their stupid OC kind of deal. Or people who want to sit there and make... See, there's a huge process with writing, people. It's a very strict concept. It's a very strict um, process. But it's something that every writer, including my own self, has to follow through. And if you don't follow through with it, you're going to have a really bad time. You are going to have a terrible time, actually. It's a painful thing, but I can guarantee you one thing, though. The Goshio Wikia needs to die off. It either needs to die off, or it needs to wipe itself completely clean and start over. That's the only thing that I can think can ever redeem the Goshio Wikia. That's all I can really say will be any remote redemption for that website. And for the writers there. The admins need to step up their game and need to start deleting horrible stories that have terrible grammar, terrible story writing, cliche concepts, and things like that. Remove them entirely. You're gonna get, and I, and I know that the admins are probably gonna get some shit, but I'm telling this right now. The Wikia needs to stand up and t say to these people, no, your story is garbage. And then explain to them the reason why it's garbage, that way they can improve. Hell, that's what happened with me. I had one of my stories deleted off of the Creepypasta Wikia. I mean, did it bother me for a little bit? Yes. But it ultimately would help me to push myself more and becoming a better Creepypasta writer. The criticism I've gotten, even some of the hate that I got with certain Creepypasta stories that I got, was honestly something that more along the lines, you know, Help me to become the man I am now. Help me to become the writer that I became now. It helped me to expand my knowledge, to not use cliches within stories, and to make up something brand new and interesting. This is the reason why my view, why, like whenever I write a creepypasta, the views are usually high because it's something new. It's something that people have not given much of an op option to or an opportunity. I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but that's what happens whenever you really decide to push you know, sit down and put a lot more effort into your writing. I mean, that's the main reason why I, I stress so heavily for anybody who wants to be a writer, pay attention in English class. Pay attention to your English teacher or your professor. Listen to them. Study what they have to say. Grammar, same thing. Grammar can be a pain in the butt sometimes, and it can seem rather confusing. It certainly was with me. But I guarantee you, once you learn these things and you have a very good understanding of it, then you won't have a whole lot of issues, or really any issues, with making a good story. And of course, you can still even go further. There are websites, there are Google Docs, there's other websites that you can go to to improve more on your story, to be better, to be amazing stories. But unfortunately, people don't seem to even want to do that. I mean, it goes to show you how lazy this generation is. The lazy these millennials are. People like these have become so lazy that they're not willing to put in the time or the effort. That's a reason why I don't sit there and just make a random story anymore and upload it the next day. I don't want to do that anymore because that, for one, hinders creative potential. And number two, it's just not something I want to do anymore. 
I mean, the the backyard again story fan fiction I'm working on right now. It's taking a while. I know that, but you have to understand though that whenever it takes time to work with, it gives me more time to focus. It gives me more time to think about how I want the story to go out. I brainstorm as I write, and even when I write, I even when I want to keep writing, I stop. At a certain point, save the thing and move on. That's exactly the one thing that people should do. If you're writing a story, write like a part of it, stop, brainstorm some more, go back, look it over, correct any mistakes that you have, add more if you want to add more to it. You know, read it to yourself if you have to. If it seems that you know, you know, it doesn't look or sound good, then improve more on it. Add more, you know, adjectives. Add whatever you could possibly get. Get a freaking uh, th th thesaurus or whatever. Get any of those things. You know, get one of those things. You know, improve more on your vocabulary, which is something I need to do as well. I mean, but even then on that matter, it's extremely important that you do these things because if you do them, you can become an amazing writer. You can become someone that will be recognized. You might even start writing books one day. If that's the case, and you want to do that, then please, please, please focus. And it's not even just with people who want to do this for the rest of their lives. It's basically anybody who wants just to write a random story. Even if it's like only one or two stories in your life, whether it be fan fiction, creepypastas, uh, random funny little stories, or even a small little book, you have to put effort into it. That's why English classes and grammar classes and spelling classes are your friends. They are agitating, I will admit. I have my own fair share of issues when it comes to working with these things. Like there's certain words I can't spell properly. I have a hard time spelling them. Spelling is, was one of the more difficult ones I've done. But take all of those things, take spelling classes, all of those things and take them, you know, and use them properly. Study them, listen to them. Because if, the, because if you do that, you will have a better opportunity. And also, be creative with your stories. Don't just cookie cutter you know, a story and use whatever it is that they have because that's what they're doing. Do not fall into that trend. Do not do that. Sit there and take an opportunity to really you know, listen to what have people have to say and use your mind, use your brain. Use creativity. Do something brand new. Something that never has been done before. And continue to do that over and over and over again. Make up something brand new so that way that one new thing that you made doesn't become a cliche itself. It's difficult, yes, but it isn't impossible. And it can be done. And you can really put effort into it. And even if you, make, if you wind up making a bad story, I've done it. We've all done it. Even if you wind up you know, having a flop, it happens. Learn from it. Learn from your mistakes and be better at it. Or make an alternate version of it if you really want to improve it. That's what you can do as a person to sit there and make your stories better. But the Goshia Wikia will not do that. And by allowing these terrible stories to remain on their website, to allow all these terrible, horrible, no good, very bad creepypastas to remain on their Wikia, in the Lost Episode Wikia itself is only going to provide more and more bad stories. It's not going to inspire people to write something new, original, and awesome. It's only going to sit there and have people sit there and make um, freaking cliche stories. Cliche, bad, horrible grammar. It doesn't have any... It doesn't... It just doesn't provide people with the motivation to make something new and amazing. Very rarely do people I know of on that site make good stories. Very, very, very rarely. And when they do make good stories, it is like finding a giant 20 pound gold nugget or gold bar. It's as rare as rare can be. But it doesn't have to be rare, people. It doesn't have to be something that's only in a blue moon. You all can be better at writing. Everyone can. If you put effort into your story and you really give it every ounce of everything that you can give, if you improve, 
if you sit there and you work on your mistakes, if you make something brand new and original, then that rarity can become lesser and lesser to the point it's so common. And you know what you will also be doing? Making a genre that was originally despised and hated by people become one of the most loved. That's something I want to do. I want to make the genre of the lost episode creepypastas to be loved again. I want people to take an opportunity to make amazing stories. But until that happens, until people really start putting effort into their stories, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen and it will always remain a joke. And I don't want that to be the case. So to the, to the Goshio Wikia admins, step up your game, delete these terrible stories, purge them if you have to, do a purge, I don't care. And do everything that you can to make your website awesome again. And hopefully, by doing such, you will inspire more people to realize their mistake like I have done in the past and become better writers. Because that's the only way that you're going to learn. But still though, it's a little it's something that has to be taken into consideration. I hope you guys enjoyed this little rant of mine. Um sorry if it's long, I'm sorry if it was harsh, but it's something that needed to be said. This rant has been needed to be done for the longest time now, and I'm glad I managed to get it all out of my system. So yeah, Thank you guys again for watching this video. If you're on here, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're brand new. Uh, let me know um, if you got any remote inspiration out of this. If you are going to want to try and make yourself a better writer and such, let me know. And if anyone, and the one thing I'm going to say right here and right now before I end the video, don't give up. Even though I've, even though I said that majority of the stories on there are terrible, doesn't mean I want people to give up. I don't want them to give up writing. I don't want any of you giving up on writing. I want you to better yourselves. If you quit writing because somebody said your story is terrible, then you're only going to re you're, you're going to regress your own creative me mentality. You're not going to learn. You're just going to be upset and angry, and then next thing you know, you're just not going to be ha you're, you're just not going to try anymore. Don't ever have that. Really push yourself more. Learn more. Improve from your mistakes and be better. Even if it's gradual and everything like such, it's still an improvement. So never give up on making these stories. Never give up. Just try and strive to be as great as you can honestly be. No matter how difficult it is. And if you, even if you think that writing that pasta in like less than an hour you think is good, which oftentimes it usually isn't, don't do it. Take an opportunity, take your time, take all of those as much time as you need to make the story amazing. That's all I really have to say. Thank you guys again for watching today's episode. I'm the Shadow Reader, and like always, roll the outro. In fear and surprise, as your eyes widen, your mouth goes dry with each battered breath. You try to scream, your mind begs to be glued to your computer screen. The killers they slash, the tapes burn and crash. The cartridge you bought will be your final haunt. The rituals of hate will seal your fate. The tears you shed. Will be from a fear gripping portrait that marriage door filled, terrorizing, hateful, burning, violent, rage inducing, knife slashing, blood splattering, silent screams. Only time will tell if you will escape this sunlight hell. Your horror-filled obsessions will come with its own regressions. Your pathetic screams will not be heeded in any way. Because your nightmares will come at any day.